Hello world, it's Ben, and today I'm going to start helping you connect to the free internet chess server with the interface by Boss Chess. Here you see the free internet chess server web page. Before we download the Babas Chess program, we need to have a free internet chess server account because Babas Chess is only an interface. Uh, interfaces uh, in the world of freechess.org uh, only connect to the free internet chess server. By itself, the free internet chess server is a telnet console which reams has a bunch of reams of rolling text that is not that visually appealing to look at and is actually kind of difficult to understand. So, that's why we have an interface. So, before we download an interface, we're going to register. And it's navigating. Oh, it's this is freechess.org. www.freechess.org. And um, on this site, the www's do matter. It's very strange. Alright, so, here, yeah, register on fix. You pronounce the F-I-C-S. Fix, just to be short. So here are steps for registration, which I will step you through. So first, we click on this registration form thing. And it's navigating. Here we are. This is a lot of fields, so we'll just look at them. First name. Now you'll need to fill in this this these boxes with your own information, and I'm just going to fill it in with some sample information. Demonstration purposes. Also, they kind of frown upon fake information, but uh, I'm sure this won't be a problem. Handle. Your handle is your username, and uh, in this little gray box above the handle box, you uh, get to read some guidelines about it. And here is a little link about kinds of things that you'll want to avoid using. So my handle must be from 3 to 17 characters in length, containing only upper and or lowercase characters. No number of spaces and or other symbols are allowed. So... Uh, Make sure you pick a handle that you're going to keep. You might want to pause the video here and think a little bit about what you're going to be, because it's permanent. So, my handle is going to be demo purpose x. That, that should work. My email. Uh, you do need to have an actual email address just for this registration. I think some of these 10-minute email things will work, because I'm pretty sure you'll be able to get it done in that amount of time. So I'm going to use one of my personal emails just for this. And you really don't have to read these other terms. Just check them. Check, check, check. And send registration. And this is a little bit confusing. This dialog box is telling you that it's being processed and that it'll take a few seconds. But uh, it's very misleading, as this dialog box will stay open indefinitely. And it, the, your data is actually processed pretty much instantly. So you just press the OK button, and it navigates. And it, this is actually where it processes your information. And registration pending has been successfully processed. So now you get a little code sent to you at your email address and it'll also explain how to activate your registration so I'm now I'm gonna switch over to my email I'm gonna get mail one moment please and we get an email fix fix registration and we open it up and this is my activation code copy it control insert try not to get the space on there it will probably cause issues well I'll always delete it okay so now we will want to go to this link and this link will give us this form so we type in our handle demo purpose x activation code paste the activation code and for some reason it's like a password field and it will trim off the um, trailing space I really don't know what it would do if you said language none would it make like caveman noises but um, choose your language I speak English so activate and same thing as that other misleading dialog box, just press OK. Uh, no, actually, I don't care for you to remember that password or Internet Explorer. I do use Internet Explorer. I think the other browsers are just a little... They, they have a lot of unnecessary features which slow it down, so I stay with Internet Explorer. Oh, my account has been created. In a few minutes, make that a few seconds, I'll receive an email with my password. So, get my mail again, and I actually get two new emails. The fixed quick start guide, which is kind of a nice thing to do, but I will, um, I'll, I'll, I'll walk you through all of this. So, the fixed account created one is the uh, 
actually important one. So you, the initial password is very important. You'll need to copy that, and th that's your original password. Don't worry, you'll be able to change it later. Now, we want to download the actual interface. Um, this interface is only for Windows. There are not really any good interfaces for Mac. There are a few pretty nice ones for Linux. Uh, if you have a Mac or another thing like Unix, you'll need to go to the Login Now screen and um, figure out their online GIN interface. I don't much care for the GIN interface, but I suppose some people do. If nobody liked it, then I suppose they wouldn't have it there. So uh, Internet Explorer is freezing. And so while it's doing that, I'll explain kind of what we're going to do with Babas Chess. So uh, after it unfreezes, oh, here we are, uh, we're going to go to babaschess.net. It's actually www.babaschess.net. Um, the www's do make a difference, another strange website. So, and when you get that typed in, you will see this, Babas Chess Internet Chess Client. And it has been certified spyware free and malware free, so you're not going to have any virus issues from it. You'll want to go to the download and gives you download of Boss Chess. This is a whole bunch of links. Uh, I don't know if anyone's still running Windows 98 or 95, but um, if you still are, well, then pick the ones right for your operating system. I have Windows XP, so I'm going to use Boss Chess version 4.0. Uh, I said Babas Chess 4.0. There we are. And now it will pop up this dialog box, depending on which browser you have. You want to run the setup. I suppose if you have like the newest Internet Explorer or Google Chrome, you'll have to wait for it to do its little thing in the bottom left here. And then uh, get the navigate to your downloads folder and run it. But anyway, you just want to run the setup program. It'll take a little bit to download. Boas Chess is actually not that big of a program. It's just the uh, uh, the recorder on my computer that's taking up my system resources and making the download really slow. So while it's working on that, let's go back to the Free Internet Chess server and close that tab. And let's switch over to Boas Chess. Just get a little preview of Boas Chess before we jump into it. Let's see how's my okay, 53%. So here are some general screenshots. Uh, you can change the background of your Babas Chess. Babas Chess is really customizable. You can set it to almost any theme you want. They have nature and space themes, and you can always customize your own. I think you can create your own theme if you'd like. And you can, here, we can make these big. Uh, oh, another feature of the free Internet Chess server is that you can observe other people playing games. Uh, this person is observing a whole lot of games. Uh, there are other interfaces. Thief, um, I used to use that one. And Boss Chess can look like that for people who are just switching over. How is that download going? Oh, look, it's almost done. Verifying. And the publisher it has not uh, spent the money to become certified, which is an okay thing. So you can trust them. Run. So now it'll just verify a few more seconds. And... 61.1 KB a second. That's a pretty slow download rate. I usually get like one and a half megabytes a second. But I suppose some days computer's a little slower. Also, this recording uh, program is making my computer a little slow. So while it verifies that, oh, I have another Babas Chess running here. So I'll just close that. So. You can see how it actually is instead of my... Here we are! Welcome to the Boss Chess Setup Wizard. This installer is going to guide you through the steps required to install Boss Chess on your computer. Next. Boss Chess License Agreement. Absolutely no one reads those. Well, I have been known to read them. They are actually kind of interesting, but um, I'm not going to go through the time of reading it now. Um, this, if you have multiple accounts on your computer, you'll want to switch to everyone if you want everyone to be able to use it. But if you only have one account, or if you don't care to... Um, clutter the desktops of everyone else with Babas Chess, you'll want to choose Just Me. Since I only use one account in this computer, I'm going to leave it on Just Me. Uh, the disk cost uh, will measure it against your um, remaining disk space. So, now that we've done that, Babas Chess is being installed. I hope you're still holding on to that email with your password. Babas Chess um, goes through a few, I think it's three bars of 
this, I kind of wish these kind of install programs would just use one bar and fill it up really slowly, instead of using multiple bars, which can be misleading. And, yeah. See, here it goes for the second time. And now it's stopping. Yeah. Um, let's see. That's good, making a little progress, but we're going to see some screenshots. Screenshots. Okay, never mind about the screenshots, but Boss Chess has been successfully installed. We click close to exit, and it closes. And now, I'm going to stop this navigating. And so now, Boss Chess has been successfully installed. So now, I'll go to my start menu, and open up Boss Chess. Where is Boss Chess? Oh, it's over here. Alright, so, we're going to launch Boss Chess, 